turn to our Bibles, James chapter 4. Five to eight. Our Adigam on the Kirby Arikarade, Arthur and Dave and Kirby Lover to Edith and Kara, Tan Pilurto, Kirby Arikara and the Soli Kirade, Agi and Dave and Kikil put in the head, the Sasa Kedith and Lilligan, upward the Abnumka with the body for one. They will let them say the head, upward the Abnumka let them say one. Pavile, Ungal Kaila Sutigari, Yuman Mulla, Ungal and Lepa Sutamakan. God has made the spirit. To dwell in us. We all know that the Spirit is in us. But do we realize that God the Father jealously desires that Spirit in us to react to Him? God is jealous in a righteous jealousy. He has a desire for the manifestation of the Spirit who is in you. And what we have been doing in the last hour or so is the desire of the heart of God. That is the wonderful grace of God. But then He, desire, he gives us a greater grace. And the next uh, two and a half verses tell us what it is. First of all, he is opposed to the proud. He gives grace to the humble. Many times in our churches we see some people more blessed with the Spirit than others. It is because somehow or other there is humility, more humility in their hearts. They realize their need of the Holy Spirit more than the others. And because of the more abundant grace he gives to us, he says, therefore, do this. He says, Submit yourselves to God. Now the people in that church were quarreling and having conflict. The devil, the devil was stirring up conflict in the church. And James said, Submit yourself to God because he has greater grace for you. Resist the devil who is starting to work amongst you. As you submit yourself to God, he says, resist the devil and he will go away. Then he gives a wonderful promise. He says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. 
தேவரிடத்தில் செய்வீர்கள் அப்பொழுது அவர் உங்களிடத்தில் செய்வார் he says cleanse your hands you sinners பாவிகளே உங்கள் கைகளை சுத்தி தெரியுங்கள் he is speaking to some believers அவர் ஒரு சில விசுவாசிகளுக்கு படிபட தான் வார்த்தை பேசுகிறார் and he says purify your hearts உங்கள் இதயங்களை பரிசுத்தமாக்குங்கள் because you have a double mind ஏனென்றால் உங்களுக்கு இரு மனம் இருக்கிறது you have a mind for god and you have a mind for your own desires lust of the flesh ஒரு ஒரு பக்கத்திலே தேவன் காய் உங்களை இதயம் திறக்க வேண்டியிருக்கிறது மறு பக்கத்திலே பார்ப்போம் என்று சொன்னால் உலக காரியங்களினாலும் அசத்தமில்லாலும் உங்களை இதயம் நிறை நிறை நிறைந்ததாக இருக்கிறது Now we just drew near to God and he did draw near to us. நீங்கள் தேவனிடத்தில் சேர்ந்தீர்கள் என்றால் தேவன் உங்களிடத்திலே சேர்வார். We used to sing a song in the our Pentecostal churches. நம்ம சபைகளிலே ஒரு பாடலை ஒரு பாடலை பாடுவதுண்டு. Humble yourself and the Lord will draw near you. நீங்கள் உங்களை தாழ்த்துவீர்கள் என்றால் தேவனாகிய கர்த்தர் உங்களிடத்திலே சேர்வார். Draw near to God. and he will draw near to you devanadathile seirungal appozh avar ungalidathil seiruvar we used to sing that with hunger and desire naangal daagathodu vaanjiyodu andha paadale paaduvom but the pentecostal churches of my country did not draw near to god in the way that he has told us to ஆனால் எங்களுடைய ஊர்ல இருக்கிறதான பெண்ணின் சபைகள் அப்படியாக தேவனிடத்திலே தேவன் எப்படிப்பட்டதான விதத்தில் அவரிடத்துல சேர வேண்டும் என்று விரும்புகிறாரோ அவ்விதமாய் அவர் சேர்வதில்லை ஆனால் அவர்கள் பாடிக்கொண்டிருப்பார்கள் தேவனிடத்திலே சேர்ந்தது கமான் பீப்புள் ட்ரோ நியர் டு காட் நீங்கள் தேவனிடத்திலே சேருங்கள் and he will draw near to you but we did not give occasion for the lord to draw near in a satisfactory manner anal devan dirupti adaigira vannamaga nam avaridathile seiruvadumillai avaru namadathil adaipadumillai we knew what it was to be baptized with the holy ghost parsutha aviyanavarale nam nirupapadirukkarum we knew what it was to speak in tongues அப்படிப்பட்டதான <laughs> 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 has led you here and he has led me into truth that the old pentecostals did not have in my country yenudaiya desathil irukkiradana and pentecostal sabhayile kaatilum kattil vandu indha edathile ungalai alaithu kondu vandha maatramalla ennai alaithu indha satyathai ungalku arivikkumbadiyai avar enna poodil seidirukkar it's the grace of god to you and to me இது தேவன் உங்களுக்கு கொடுத்ததும் எனக்கு கொடுத்ததுமான கிருபையாய் கிருபையாய் இருக்கிறது now we're going to speak about the difference between the soul and the spirit now in for the aathmavukkum aavikkum ulladana oru vithyasathai kurithu ungalukku therai solla mudiyadhu irukkire god has created us body soul and spirit kattu namai aavi aathma sariram engiradana amaippile srushtithirukkar and you will find that in one thessalonians chapter 5 ஒன்று தசலோனிக்கையில் ஐந்தாம் அதிகாரத்திலே அந்த காரியத்தை நாம் பார்க்கலாம் ஒன்று தசலோனிக்கையில் ஐந்தாம் அதிகாரம் இருபத்தி மூன்றாம் வசனத்தை நான் வாசிக்கிறேன் சமாதானத்தின் தேவன் தாமே உங்களை முற்றிலும் பரிசுத்தமாக்குவாராக உங்கள் ஆவி ஆத்துமா சரீரம் முழுவதும் நம்முடைய கத்தராகி இயேசு கிறிஸ்து வரும்போது குற்றமிட்டதாக இருக்கும்படி காக்கப்படுவதாக Now first and second Thessalonians is about the coming of the Lord. ஒன்று தெசலோனிக்கர் புத்தகம் நம்முடைய கத்தராகி இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவுடைய வருகையை எடுத்துரைக்கிறதாக இருக்கிறது We have to be looking for the coming of the Lord. நாம் நம்முடைய கத்தராகி இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவுடைய வருகையை எதிர்நோக்கி காத்திருக்கிறோம். The coming of the Lord is going to take place in the clouds of heaven. The Jesus Christ's coming will take place in the clouds of heaven. 
We are to meet him in the air. We are not to meet him in the city of Jerusalem. He is not descending to the nation of Israel. He's coming in the air. And the Bible says if you look for him, he will appear to you. His appearance will be in the air. And we will hear the trumpet sound. We will hear the voice of Jesus Christ as the archangel. The dead will rise and those who are, have, uh, their bodies will rise out of the grave. But the Lord is bringing with him their spirits so that their spirits can have a new purified body. And those who are still living will be changed in the twinkling of an eye. The Apostle Paul had this prayer for that church. May your spirit be preserved complete. May your soul be without blame at the coming of the Lord. May your body have been preserved so that you have continually given it to righteousness. We are to give the members of our body to God to live righteously. And so in that verse we see we have a soul and a spirit. Now we're going to talk about some kind of praying we do with our spirit. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 15 the Apostle Paul said, I will pray with my spirit. Now while he is talking about praying with our spirit, let us understand in these verses he is really setting the situation in their church meeting. And so then he also talks about the gift of interpretation of tongues. But throughout chapter 14 he speaks about tongues in two ways that they can be used. First of all, we have tongues that are the gift of Jesus with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And in verse 2, with those tongues we talk to God. And some of that chapter is about those kind of tongues. That is not the gift of tongues. There's another kind of tongues apart from the ones the Lord Jesus gives. There is a kind that the Holy Spirit gives. 
இருக்கிறது it is the gift of tongues அது அன்னை பாஸ்டர்கள் பேசுகிற வரம் and you read about that in chapter 12 uh, verse 10 அற்புதங்களும் <laughs> If you read from verses 7 to 11 you will see that they are the nine gifts of the spirit not the gifts of the Lord Jesus. ஏழாம் வசனம் முதல் 11 வசனம் வரைக்கும் நீங்கள் வாசிப்பீர்கள் என்றால் இயேசு கிறிஸ்து கொடுக்கிறதான வரத்தை காட்டிலும் ஒரு வித்தியாசமான வரம் அதாவது ஆவியானவரால் கொடுக்கப்படுகிறதான ஒன்பது விதமான வரங்களை குறித்து இந்த பகுதியிலே நாம் பார்க்கலாம் that we are speaking about the tongues that the lord jesus has given with the baptism of the holy spirit asutha aamiyanavarale nam gnana snana panna padugira bodu kattavaga yesu kristu kodukiradana and anmiya bhashayaye varathai kurithu nam paarkrom and the apostle paul says with my spirit i pray in other tongues apostolaye pagam solugirar naan aamiyodum vinappam pannuven He says in verse 14 if i pray in a tongue in chapter 14 verse 14 my spirit prays onde konde 14th adhigaram 14th vasanathile yenithu naalil naan anniya vaashayile vinnappam pannidan yen aavi vinnappam pannume endri en karuthu bayanathada irukum our spirit is the most important part of our being nammudeya aavi aathma sariramagi endra moonil with our spirit we connect with god nam aaviyoda kuda kattrodu kuda thodarpu kolugiradhala irukkrom our spirit has been recreated namme aavi marubadi pirandirukkirathu we are born again in our spirit nam aavile marubadi pirandirukkrom and so our spirit needs to pray And if we pray with our spirit, it's by the Holy Spirit in other tongues. The Holy Spirit is the great intercessor. And sometimes when we are praying in other tongues the holy spirit is making intercession to god about you your church your family whatever thing in the world nam sila velaiyile anni vaasigalile jebikiradana velaiyile pasutha aaviyanavu ungalkaga ungal sabaikaga matra janangalkaga parindu pesugiravara irukkar now i have been told that there was a person who as a believer had a dream or and as an unbeliever had a dream or abhisavasi or sapanam kanda she dreamt that she should come to a church in this area avargal indha pagudile irukkaradana or sabaiki poga vendum endru unarthapattargal and the lord worked and she eventually came to this church கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சமாக அவர் இருதயத்தில் ஆண்டுக்கிரியை செய்ய ஆரம்பித்து அவர்கள் இந்த சபைக்கு வந்தார்கள் that was the operation of the holy spirit அது பரிசுத்த ஆவியானவருடைய கிரியையா இருக்கிறது and i believe it happened because you as a church with your pastor and his wife pray in other tongues நீங்கள் அன்னிய பாஷைகளிலே உங்கள் ஊழியக்காரரோ ஊழியக்காரர் மனைவியோ விசுவாசிகளாகிய நீங்களும் அன்னிய பாஷைகளை ஜெபிக்கிறதால ஜெபிக்கிறவுடையனாலே இப்படிப்பட்டதான காரியங்கள் நடக்கிறது and one of you or some of you or all of you had the holy ghost in to see through you for that women mungal porvar moolamagavo alladhu anegar moolamagavo alladhu mulu sabayil moolamagavo parisutha aamiyanavar andha arumiyana aathmaavukkaga parindu pesugiravara irukkar we are a savor or a smell of life to what is around us we are a smell or savor of life to those around us namai suttile irukkiradana janangal rechikka padumbadiyai nam chevikka vendum and particularly when we pray in tongues the holy ghost is able to move all through our pandicherry nam anni vaasigale pesu chevikira velaile pasu thaaviyanavar indha pandicherry pattanam mudumbadhu namasai vaaduvar now we 
we find this in Romans chapter 8, verse 26. We do not know how to pray as we should. You sisters and you you girls, you do not know how to pray as you should. My husband and I and the pastor and his wife do not know how to pray as we should. You brothers do not know how to pray as you should. We have to humble ourselves and say, I do not know how to pray as I should. Now your pastor and his wife have recognized that. And so they let the Holy Spirit intercede through all of us as we pray in other tongues. The Church of Jesus Christ has overlooked the importance of praying in other tongues. The Pentecostal people are following Christian television. They're following Hillsong music. And, and they are not following the Holy Ghost. if there is a church in the whole of Australia who would pray like you have prayed with all these people in the last hour or so. You have been to Australia and you found that to be the case. You tell them that. Now that should not make us proud in India. We should humble our still still further and say it's the grace of God. Now when we turn to Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18, the Apostle Paul says this. Now the hundreds of millions of Pentecostal and charismatic people are not, we are not obeying this verse. Most pastors and churches and Pentecostals and Charismatics don't want to pray in other tongues. Instead of enjoying our rich heavenly inheritance, we are fiddling around with the mud and the mire of this world. The, the, apostle, the apostle Paul said, with all prayer. With all petitions. Petitions. Pray at all times in the spirit. In other words, he is telling us when we pray, most of our prayers should be in other tongues. 
கிறிஸ்துவை நாம் சொல்லுவோம் என்று சொன்னால் அப்போ சொன்னாலே பவுல் எப்பொழுதெல்லாம் நீங்க செபிக்கிறீர்களோ அப்பொழுதெல்லாம் அந்நிய பாஷைகளை பேசி செபியுங்கள் என்று உற்சாகப்படுத்துகிறார் ரெண்டாம் அதிகாரம் பதினெட்டாம் வசனத்திலே இப்படி அது சொல்லப்பட்டிருக்கிறது தாம் நம்மை அழைத்ததுனாலே தாம் நம்மை அழைத்ததுனாலே நமக்கு உண்டாயிருக்கிற நம்பிக்கை என்ன தெரியும் பரிசுத்த வாழ்க்கையில் நமக்கு உண்டாயிருக்கிற He is talking about the Jews and the Gentiles who are believers. Wait. Did you read the wrong one? Verse 18? Okay. You have a lot of words. There's a lot of more words in Tamil than there are in English. <laughs> I think Tamils like to talk more than we English do. <laughs> uh, we have access to the Father. That's through the blood of Jesus. But to get there it says we have our access in one spirit, one Holy Spirit, one Holy Ghost. Now to be in the spirit you are doing a lot of praying in other tongues. Now I want us to see the difference between our spirit and our soul. We turn to Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. For the word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword. This living word is the Lord Jesus Christ. Because this word judges. He looks into our thoughts. He looks into our thoughts. He looks at the intentions of our heart. He sees everyone. And he makes the distinction between our soul and our spirit. We should make the distinction between our soul and our spirit. The soul is the seat of our emotions. With our soul we look through our eyes onto the world and onto our, our friends and relatives. With our spirits we communicate with God. We're going to look at a prayer of Mary, the mother of Jesus. Luke chapter 1, verse 46. This was when she visited Elizabeth, her cousin. And she said this in verses 46 and 47. She said, My soul exalts the Lord. In, in the Greek, that is the fuse, P, P-U-S-C-H-E. You needn't write it down. She says, My spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. 
Spirit is a different word. It is pneuma, P-N-E-U-M-A. She used her soul and her spirit. She is the only person in the New Testament who said that she praised God in her soul and praised God in her spirit. Now in the Old Testament they did not use this, the, the words my spirit. Let us turn to Psalm 103 verse 1 as an example. O oh, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Now that also is a different word than the word spirit in the Hebrew. It comes from a Hebrew word, N-E-P-H-E-C-H. And the word soul means yourself. Your life. It means you are a creature. It means you are a person with emotion. It means you have passion. Passion. P A W S O N. It means that which breathes. We breathe. It means the man himself. And so David worshipped God with his soul. He did not know what it was to be born again in his spirit as we do. He was not filled with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues as we are. He was under the old covenant. We are not under the old covenant. We are not under law. Romans 6.14, we are not under law, but under grace. God acted with grace and sent Jesus Christ into the world. He brought the gospel of salvation. We are under the Lord Jesus Christ. We are not under Moses. We are under the grace of the gospel. We are not under the law of the Old Testament. We are under the new covenant. We are not under the old covenant. We are under the worship of the new covenant. We are not under the worship of the old covenant. 150 Psalms were written because they worship under the old covenant. David worshipped under the old covenant. David worshipped under the old covenant. 
fellowship with his soul. David worshipped by writing under inspiration of the Holy Spirit these wonderful psalms. But many of them about the incidents and victories of the old covenant. Now the Psalms have their value. They tell us who the, what the great God is like. They tell us that the heavens declare the glory of God. They tell us that the stars declare his handiwork. But Psalm number one, number th verse three, is about hiding the law in your heart. We are not told to hide the law in our heart. We are not under the law. Now we are expected to know the law. The Old Testament books give us instruction. But the law and the children of Israel and the Old Testament were to lead us to Christ. And therefore, we are told in the New Testament, these words, Colossians 3, verse 16. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. With all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another with songs of the Holy Ghost. Have you got verse 16? Have you got Colossians or Galatians? Yeah. 3.16. Now those psalms are not the psalms of the Old Testament. Those, those hymns are not the hymns of our hymn book. They are of the Spirit. They are of the Holy Ghost. And tomorrow morning, by the will of God, we are going to talk about that and everybody will be singing psalms in the Holy Ghost. And so, David used his soul in song and worship and music. Now I am a musician. I have been a musician since I was five years old. We, we were quite famous in our city. I have taught music. And I have wonderful musicians and singers in my family. But I'm telling you what the word of truth says. Because there's a better way. Now you are into that better way. I am quite encouraged and thrilled to see what God is doing in your midst. 
Never stop. All your lives keep on going. Keep on increasing. Keep on getting more grace. Keep on getting more tongues. Keep on seeing more of the power of God operating in you. And because, because the power of God operates in you, the power of God spreads out to others. You are a blessing. Now David wrote a psalm, Psalm 150. He says, Praise the Lord, praise Jehovah. Now I know one of the names of God is Jehovah Nissi. <laughs> and the name, the, I think it's seven names of God are wonderful. But Jehovah is the God who the children of Israel knew. Jehovah was the God the children of Israel knew. Jesus Christ had not yet come. Now we worship Jehovah. In reality, he is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But the children of Israel only knew him as one. We know him as three. Three. But the Jehovah of the New Testament is the Lord Jesus Christ. So let us see what David is really doing. He has prophesied about the death of Jesus Christ in Psalm 22. That is a psalm about the crucifixion. And in Psalm 23, David in reality wrote about the Lord Jesus Christ who said, I am the good shepherd. And so David says, praise Jehovah. We say praise the Lord or praise the Lord Jesus. We have the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Jesus is his name. Christ is his title. But his name is Jesus. He shall save his people from their sins. And David said, praise God in the sanctuary. He was talking about his tabernacle that he had built on Mount Zion. That tabernacle finished. Our tabernacle is the church of Jesus Christ. We are the temple of the living God. So we praise him in his temple of the New Testament. Now it says in uh, verse 5, Praise him with loud symbols. They, 
They did not have sound systems. What everybody heard was with their natural ear. So that does not apply to today. Now, I'd like us to turn to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 11. Now, that is clear. And what it really says in the Greek is abstain from fleshly lusts. No, you, yeah. That are in particular through the soul. The fleshly lusts come from our soul. The fleshy lusts pertain to our soul. Because our soul is the seat of our carnal nature. But our spirit is different. Can you turn to 1 John chapter 2 verse 9? We sing with our soul and our body. But our spirit cannot sing. Because it has the seed of God in it. And so we are to follow what God has done in our spirit and not follow our soul. Now Jesus said these words in John 4.24. Yeah. They who worship the Father must worship Him in spirit and in truth. We worship in the Holy Ghost. We worship in the truth of the Gospel. We, we do not worship under the law. We do not worship in the truth of the Old Testament. Because the Old Testament is the truth of God. And it blesses us. But we are to worship under the truth of the gospel. Now the apostle Paul has told us that we sing with our spirit. We worship with our spirit. The Holy Ghost is in our spirit. We are to worship in the Holy Ghost. We worship with heavenly, a heavenly manner. We worship in other tongues. We worship in other tongues. Our worship is of the Holy Ghost. Now I will just say this in closing. The fault of the Pentecostals and the Charismatics, I'm one, has been we left our spirit to follow our soul. 
Any pop singer would tell you that they sway the crowd with their singing because it's emotional from their soul and hits the soul of the people listening. Pop singers are part of the and the part of the name 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 of In Australia, there are many big churches that are black. Windows and doors closed and no lights. <laughs> It's the scene of a nightclub. It's the scene of a, of a rock concert. Rock concert. Do you know what that is? They have strobe lights and flashing smoke and so forth. This is, this is in Pentecostal and charismatic churches. They have sold their soul to the devil. How can you worship in the spirit when you are using the world's rock music? Rock music came from the heathen beat of the drums of Africa. Elvis Presley was one of the leaders in the rock concert scene. Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. Do they know Elvis Presley? Some would. One of the leaders in the rock scene was a backslidden Assembly of God person. Assembly of God Then came the Beatles. The Beatles are connected with heathendom of India. They follow yoga. They follow the, the Indian gurus. And so, so the, their music is satanic. And Hillsong has introduced that satanic kind of music to the whole world through television and its, its uh, DVDs. I hope you don't watch Christian television and see Hillsong. It is the leading assembly of God Church in Australia. I am out of the assemblies of God. But I am speaking the truth of the word of the gospel. We are not to follow our soul's desires. We are not to follow the lust of the flesh. Now when I was young like these girls and young like those boys, I turned my back on the world's music. Young people do not have, need the world's music. Young people need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. And talk to your friends about Jesus. Talk to your friends about Jesus. We all need to be filled with the Holy Ghost continually. Can we pray? Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your grace.
place that is on this church. We thank you for the pastor and his wife. We thank you for all the saints here who have been so blessed by you in grace. Increase our vision of Jesus Christ. Increase our vision of Jesus Christ. Let us go deeper in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you very much.